ओके सो इन दिस ट्यूटोरियल वील स्टडी अबाउट द स्प्रिंग एम वी सी इंटरसेप्टर्स जस्ट लाइक वी हैव इंटरसेप्टर्स इन स्टार्ट्स वी ऑल्सो हैव द इंटरसेप्टर्स इन स्प्रिंग एम वी सी लेट मी टेल यू समथिंग ब्रीफ अबाउट इट एंड देन वील सी द इम्प्लीमेंटेशन पार्ट As you all know, we have the interceptors in struts also. What is the job of interceptor now? See, suppose you have written your application and client request for a particular web page. Now we want that before that web page is being handed over to the client or that request is being processed, some task should be done. Just like initialize method, something initially should be done before handling the request. At that point of time, we use interceptors. So it is used when we want to perform something before the request start getting processed. Also, it can be used once the request is completely processed and in between. So we have three points where we can use the interceptors. First, a client sends a URL and says that he want he or she want this particular request handler to be called. So before that, we can perform some tasks using the interceptor. Similarly, once the view is being rendered to the client, we want some task to be do. done so that point of time also we can use the interceptor and say in between also we want some task to be do then we can use interceptor so at three places we can use the interceptor now like just like in struts we can write our own interceptors similarly in spring mvc we can write our own interceptors we have an handler is an abstract class called handler interceptor adapter this is an abstract class so definitely it will have abstract methods and rules implementation we need to give this has in implemented the handler adapter interface and then we implement those methods in my class which has extended it so it has three methods return type is boolean for first that is pre handle then we have it has arguments definitely you will see it will have http request and all those arguments then we have void post handle these are not the blank ones these are having arguments and then we have after completion so we have the three methods now what does pre handle means as the name signifies this is called whenever this is called before the request is being forwarded to appropriate request handler so before the request is being forwarded request handler this pre handle is being called so you can do some activities with it and it will return true and false like it's a boolean so if it is returning true it means that the request can be forwarded to the appropriate request handler and then entire flow works as the way it was working earlier but in case this method return false then it means that the whatever the processing for the incoming url needs to be done is being done by the interceptor no need to forward it to the request handler just the response is being just handled by that interceptor so we are not going to forward it to request handler and then request handler will handle the request it give me an object view name and then it goes to dispatcher servlet it checks for the view resolver and gives us a view name and then it goes to the particular view and render it to the user so all that is not done in case it return false so this is what the true and false signify post handle you can It's very much clear. This will be done after request handled by request handler. So once the request is being completely handled by request handler, what we'll get? We'll get a model and view object which will have the attributes to be displayed to the 
client also the view name so this goes to dispatcher servlet so and then it goes to dispatcher servlet and checks with the view resolver which view needs to be displayed so before that we can call the post handle method so what we can do over here we can add some more attribute to the model and view object so that they also come along with their ones which are being given by request handler and then it finally it goes to dispatcher servlet so we can add attributes if you want to the model and view object next is after completion so after completion is once complete after view render to user or the entire process or the entire request is being completed at that point of time which we use is after completion method so these are the three methods which can be used main three methods which can be used to handle the spring mvc interceptor one more thing it's not that you can have only one interceptor in your spring mvc application you can have multiple interceptors in your application and the pre handle will be configured in the same way pre handle is just executed in the same way you have configured your in interceptors but post handle and after completion are done in the reverse order so we'll just see how it is being done so let's write our own interceptor first and see what all changes we need to make handler interceptor adapter it's from web servlet So we have after completion, we have another method after concurrent also, but the main three ones which handle my request are these three methods. So I've implemented them. Just override. Okay, uh, so here in the pre handle, we have the HTTP request and the response object. Along with that, we have the handler object also. So here we need to return true or false to tell whether the request will be forwarded further or not. And we use the response object to just display something to the user on the page. Okay, so I just simply say that I'll not say anything false, I'll just say response dot. get writer and i'll say pre-handled method is called and then i'll just say return true it means that the request needs to be handled further It arguments okay let's see which method we need to implement okay so it will give you the writer object and then in that we have the method that is print writer handle method is called 
okay so this was giving you the writer object and after that you can just print whatever you want to so this is what my pre-handle method will do so before the request call goes to the particular request handler this method will be called and post handle is you are having here the model and view object so you can add model and view dot add some attributes and similarly here you can just complete it so we'll first see how this pre-handle is being handled and then we'll go further okay oh before running this application there is a very important point need to be taken care of that when you are writing your own interceptors you need to configure them in your spring dispatcher servlet.xml file so you need to define over here the interceptors so i have written bean so i'll just say mvc we have mvc interceptors so here you need to define your bean which is your class that has implemented handler interceptor it's from com dot tell comma dot training it's a fully qualified name you need to give So now it will consider this interceptor. So now let's see. So here we can fill the details. Oh, it's showing that please enter the correct names. But like we have this interceptors. Okay, just a second. Let's see. Since it's returning true, so once it responds dot get to print something and the request is being forwarded. So let's say that it return now false. So now we'll not guess get to see this particular page. see so now it just request is being stopped over there that is pre handle method is called and is not being forwarded because it was returning false so this is how the pre handle method does the work for us so now this request handled over here and not forwarded further to anything so it's done so in the next tutorial we'll just see the implementation part of post handle and after completion